welcome back to Golden Final Spin, everyone. Today's episode is another do-it-yourself episode. Now, in the past, I showed you guys, I, I think it was like three years ago now. It was when I was first starting out with YouTube. I was showing you guys how to redo if you have scratches and stuff like that on top of turntable uh, dust cover. And I showed you how to get rid of it. And it was a very messy, messy, messy job. Well, I just got back from Nova Scotia, family vacation. I met up with a friend and he sold me this beautiful turntable. It has a few scratches on the dust cover. So I figured I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of it. It's a little bit different how I'm going to do it this time. I'm outside because this is going to get a little messy. This here is a little bit more expensive. I'm not promoting them or anything like that. They're not paying me for this. But what I'm doing is I'm repurposing this. And a lot like dust covers, they're like headlights, okay? With the plexiglass and stuff like that. But as I was reading on the side of this box, they claim that this is good for uh, boat windows, motorcycle windscreens, uh, headlights, taillights, and more. Well, guess what? The more is going to be this today. So let's talk about what I picked up here. He bought this, my uh, good friend of the family, bought this years ago when he was a teenager, I think it was. And uh, he was holding this for me for over a year. And I, I know really nothing about this brand. I, I needed a turntable at the time. But he had it for a year and I promised him that I was going to buy it and he held on to it. He listened to it. He used it. And uh, so when I met up with him a year later, I decided to buy it from him. Even though I really don't need it because I have my custom one that I built. But this particular turntable, which surprised me because I don't know nothing about it. It was put out in 1977. The reason I know it was put out in 1977 is because it has the 10 millimeter glass platter on it, which is really great. When I showed a picture of this uh, to a lot of people on Facebook, they thought that this was an upgrade, but it's not. This is what they came out with in 1977 with the 10 millimeter. And the motor is built right underneath the glass platter there. And I debate it because I'm a do-it-yourself person of taking the pieces off of this and making my own plinth. But I think I'm going to keep this the original as best that I can. Okay. Uh, some people say that it was an upgraded tone arm on it. I don't think anything has been upgraded. When he bought this brand new from the dealer, he said that this is the way it came. Now maybe the dealer upgraded it, maybe the manufacturer, but I don't really think so. Still has original felt. I'm not sure if I'm going to even use this. I might try it with a glass platter to see what it sounds like. One of the things I don't like about this particular turntable are the hinges. The hinges are they're just a plastic and after a while you would think that the, the plastic would break and and I would think that they would too but he you, he took care of this turntable uh, over the years and it's no spring loaded and it's still still good there's no cracks in this cover but it has a lot of scuff marks over the years of people putting records on top of it or maybe storing other things and you know nothing uh, drastically damaging yet or anything but I like to get this nice and shiny and back to the way it used to be so that's where this kits gonna come in place I'm gonna reuse this and I'm going to show you guys right now what's inside of it now because this kit I already used so it's kind of disorganized but it comes with a microfiber cloth this is like a cutting agent, I guess. Uh, once I sand it, I, I use this, and it will get rid of some of the little minor scratches as well, and also bring some shine back out into it. It comes with this headlight protectant. Uh, I, I really like this. This stuff is really good. Like, you don't really need to use it, but I'm gonna be using this as well. Now, my last video, we, showed that we used water we did it in the tub because we we're using 1000 grit and 3000 grit and we we're hooking it up to a cordless drill 
And because we're going at such a high speed, you don't want to burn the plexiglass. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to destroy it. And, and, it, and it will melt if you're going at high speed. So you want to use water. But today, we're not going to be using water. As you can see, it's a little dusty here. You want to make sure you get all dust off if you used it before. But I'm going to be using the palm sander uh, that came with it, the hand sander. And I'm going to be using 1,000 and 3,000 grit sandpaper as well. So we're going to get right into that. I'm going to start with the 1,000 and we're going to speed this up so we can get to the, to the next one, the 3,000, and then we'll go to the next step. So I like to go into circle motions because I don't want to have long lines. And what I like about doing this uh, dry is the dust will fall into any cracks or crevices and show you where that is at. And as you go, and if you get a lot of dust build up, you can just take your clock and just wipe it off. So you can see how it's starting to get dull already. But you don't want to go too deep and you don't want to go too fast. What you're doing here is you're taking off a little bit of the plastic. You're leveling it out and you're removing any scratches. Be very careful not to go over top of your logo because that will take your name right off of it. Now, I don't see too many more deep scratches. I think I got them all nice and level. Now I'm going to go over to my 3000 grit. So you can see it's actually almost making a nice clearness already. Okay, now I have it all sanded down with the 1000 and the 3000. You can see it's still, it looks pretty good. But you should be able to get this nice and clear so you see that I'm really clear. And the other thing that this kit comes with is this here. Now this hooks onto a drill and that's when I'm going to use this. I'm going to clear this up really good and take out any little scratches that may be. So we're going to do that now and that's why I'm outside because it can get really messy. So make sure this thing is not going, see if I go this way, it's going to fling at my face. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. We'll try not to get it all over myself. Now it says to put a little bit of this onto your, um, your buffer and I'm just going to do it in small little spots. And the thing is, you do not want this to dry on. So as soon as you see it starting to dry, wipe it off and put some more. Now you don't have to use this, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead because it did great on the headlights and it brought out a little bit extra uh, shine to uh, the headlights. So, and this is a protector. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this headlight uh, protector on it. And it's just basically massaging it in and making sure there's no residue left. So there we go. It's nice and clear now. There's some fingerprints underneath in there and stuff like that. But I'm going to cling this up a little bit more. Not with that, but just to cling it up with any old thing. Because there's no scratches on the sides or anything like that. But I hope this helps some of you that have turntables that might be a little bit scratched up. 
this does work it takes time but uh, do it summers where you're not afraid to uh, get messy right I did mine outside last time I did it in the bathroom make sure you put on some clothes that you're not worried about ruining there you go folks this is how you refurbish or take some of the scratches and make your turntable dust cover look brand new again so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope it's useful to some of you guys out there thank you for watching golden final spin until next time keep spinning mm -hmm.